New at 5.30, a longtime business in Attleboro is closing down due to intense competition. The old barn has been open since the 40s, but it just could not keep going in this economy. Iowa to Sue's reporter Nicole Estefan joins us now as we continue covering the economy. For more than 70 years, Attleboro's Old Barn has been providing customers with both pet and lawn care needs, but in a sign of tough economic times, the owner has had to make a tough decision. It's been my life for almost 20 years now, and uh, I'm really going to miss it. Bob Bamberg thought he was living the American dream when he went from employee to owner of this Attleboro icon nearly a decade ago. That's when times were good. From 2003 to 2008, we actually doubled business. We, we, we really grew it. Then, you know, gas hit four bucks a gallon, and, and our, our grain business suffered greatly then. Bamberg says in hindsight, that's when a lot of these non-essential items stopped moving off the shelves. He tells Eyewitness News he used his savings to keep things afloat in hopes things would turn around. Economists are saying three to five years before we start to see a turnaround, and we just wouldn't last. Now, as this once fruitful business has made a turn toward bare shelves, Bamberg says there is only one sense of relief. Well, as I, as I see the shelves deplete, you know, um, there's a, a sense of relief that it's, it's all selling because I, I do have to liquidate the entire inventory. When it's all gone, Bamberg and four employees will be out of a job. The economy marking a path of decline for another local business. The area will lose a community staple that has long welcomed pets and their owners. I'm really going to miss it. It's a, it's a nice place to shop, and they, they're so friendly, and they have everything. Adeline Ryder says she had been looking for this item for more than a year before she found it here. I thought if anybody would have it, they would. A lucky find that won't be around for long. Bamberg says he has racked his brain looking for a way to stay open. Thoughts of, you know, fatalism, you know. There's just no way we can turn it around. No way. As to when the doors here will close for good, well, it depends on when these shelves are near empty. The owner tells us he believes that will happen sometime in mid-October. In Attleboro with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.